Wait up, wait up. Honestly, I had to stop recording because this is a little harder than I thought it would be. All right, so as you can see, we got the Lexus inside of the garage and a few of you guessed it in the previous videos. I've been hinting to it and even just straight up telling you guys that this was coming. Today, we are finally going to be getting rid of the chrome around the window trim here. And I will be doing this myself. I am a beginner. I've never done anything like this. I did wrap, I put the tint on my tail lights on the scat pack. So, um, you know, I did do that. That was, a, you know, that wasn't the like a beginner type of job, I would say. I, I would say that was more intermediate, you know? Um, but I got it done, I did it, and it looked pretty good. But this will be my first time doing a wrap. And I like doing stuff like this. One hour later. I'm not enjoying this. So, you know, I like to just show you guys that if I could do it as a beginner, then so can you. You don't have to go out and pay somebody to do these things. And also, I think people just like to see others work on their own cars. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be doing this ourselves. We don't got a car channel for nothing. I don't need to take it to someone to have them do this for me. We're going to save a little money. And actually, here's the wrap. The name of this company is called Vinyl Frog, if I'm not mistaken. They reached out to me. I checked out their stuff because I don't work with just anybody. And they're not paying me to make this video. They did send me the wrap. But we're going to be reviewing this wrap as well, seeing how good it stands up compared to wraps like 3M and things of that nature. So if I do like this wrap, the link will be down below in the description. Uh, you guys will know by the end of the video how it looks, how it feels, the quality of it. So man, let's stop the talking. Let's get right to it. We got to clean this up. I'm going to show you guys the process. Literally just watched a YouTube video on it and now I'm about to make a video myself. I keep it 100% real with you guys. I'm not no professional at this, but I'm gonna show you. If I could do it as a beginner, then so could you. All right, so first things first, we gotta clean this thing up. And basically all you're gonna need, I can show you. Obviously you need the wrap, which I already showed you. You're gonna need some sort of razor blade. You know, um, you, there's also ways you could do it with like the wire, the knifeless. Uh, 3M wire. That's how the dude did it. Some of it in the video that I seen. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna be using this blade right here. Whatever you use to clean the surface of where we will be applying the wrap and a heat gun. This is a little cheap one I got off Amazon, but it does the job. All the links to everything I use will be down below in the description. So this is just a waterless spray that I use the water based as well um, so this is what I just what I use to do little touch-ups you know between uh, washes so after we do this we will go ahead and apply the alcohol as well to the surface that we will be applying the wrap just to make sure it's extra clean hey how's it going All right, so while that dries, let's go ahead and get into this wrap and see what it looks like. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is I'm just going to get as much as I need and then I'm gonna cut off um, a small strip, you know, horizontally, just as much as we need to uh, wrap the bottom piece here. All right, so basically we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go all the way over here. Hopefully we cut it the correct amount. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. So I believe this was called Piano Black, if I'm not mistaken. Zay was scared that it might be a little too shiny when she first seen it, but one thing you gotta know is it has a protective layer of film over it right now that we will peel off after it's applied. But it looks pretty similar to this black, so we'll see right now once it's on there. What do you think, Zay? Are you scared? Yeah. Scared? You don't trust me? I trust wow. I trust you. So look, I'm going to apply this. I'm going to heat it. And then anything I'm, I don't use, I'm cutting it off. Why don't you just cut that in half to make it easier? And then use the other half on the other Zay, side. get out of here. No, no, I'm serious. You'll still have extra. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, that's what I would do. 
Girl, no, she's, like, she's trying to come over here and take control, take over, but she might have a point. No, I'm serious. You know when someone makes a point and you kind of like don't want to admit it, you're like, eh, shut up. No, you, this, it would be better because then you wouldn't waste so much and you'll get it for the other side and it will be easier. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, and you might be right about that. Okay, let's cut it. Wait up, wait up, wait up, girl. All right, here we go. No turning back now. You see down at that end, I got a couple magnets that are about to fall off over there but they're on there for now we're gonna start right here and then work our way back and just put it down like that taking my time because as I said I have never done this before so um, we got it laid on there I think it's on there pretty good this little film started coming up a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and now apply a little bit of heat not too much just enough and then after that we'll make our cut all right let's go ahead and make our cuts Try not to mess this thing up. That would happen, bro. Scared the hell out of me. All right, now we're gonna get this. Where the chrome ends at. And right here in the middle. All right, then we're gonna open the door, cut any excess off. Final step is to heat this up and just make sure it's all tucked in. All right, so we heated it up, we laid it down. Now let's take off this protective layer of film. Let's see how it looks. Right, I mean, honestly, it's not the cleanest. This is my first time doing this, but I mean, it's not the worst job ever either. All right, man, so you see we are making some progress here. I just need this part. Honestly, I had to stop recording because this is a little harder than I thought it would be. And uh, I was getting too caught up in trying to tell you guys what to do that I wasn't able to fully concentrate myself. And I'm not enjoying this, not gonna lie to you guys. It's not like super difficult, you just gotta take your time. And yeah, it's not perfect, but I mean, as you guys can see, it looks good. All right, so shout out to people that do raps because it's not easy, man. It's definitely not easy. Um, it looks good, you know, from a distance, but I'm definitely not happy with how it came out. There's little things that you really have to be super close to see um, where you could tell it's not the cleanest. And man, but just like you could tell how it's going to look, it looks so much better. All right, let's look at this wrap. Honestly, it looks good. There's just little places where I could have done way better. So we see this. You see the M4 right there. Good morning. Bro, you cannot tell me. Because certain people were talking, talking about this looks better than this. 
that's why I don't respond to dumb shit because ain't no way. I know y'all got horrible taste. Bro, I mean, come on. What are we talking about here? All right, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This was not as easy as I thought it would be. Um, I did all right, but I mean, if you look a little closer, there's definitely some imperfections that you can see. So eventually I'm gonna do it again, but it looks much better than having that chrome trim. I don't know, you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think. So if you're looking for some pretty good wrap, this wrap is not bad whatsoever. Vinyl Frog, shout out to them. As you can see, there's the wrap. And then there's the paint. Can't really tell the difference too much. Yeah, I would say um, not too bad, not too bad. Obviously like a Nozatec, 3M, stuff like that is gonna be a level up but this wrap is definitely it's not like no amazon cheap ass off-brand type wrap you know this stuff it's all right you know it's not too bad but let me know what you guys think let me know how your boy did i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one